Dion Drena Beljo is one I have not heard of before until I saw his name on a Facebook post. And I figured, you know what? Let's check him out. Dion Drena Belcho, I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not, is a Croatian youngster, 20 years old, sitting in FC Augsburg, uh, striker position as a squad player. He has not apparently had any game time this time around this season, uh, and he has jumped around at a couple of clubs. So we'll take a look at that in a minute. His stats look okay. I mean, finishing at 15 is always fantastic for a striker. 12s, 11s, uh, some definite thing numbers that can be brought up a bit. Uh, acceleration would be nice to have, pace as well. So there's a lot of numbers that can be brought up a bit. I would love to see how they grow in the next 10 years. He does have a negative eight potential, so he can grow quite a bit. Uh, he's maybe not the, the likes of Messi or Ronaldo or someone like that. 2.1 to 6.4 million is not too bad right now. 4.3K per week till 27. So we'll see what actually happens to his career. You can see no career milestones right now. Career stats, though, he has been around six teams, apparently. Uh, these are all Croatian teams, so I'm not even going to tend to pronounce them but he has bounced around uh 2.6 million to Ausberg. let's see how he does in the next 10 years though well he's 31 years of age right now at the end of the 33 season and he is still bouncing around quite a bit uh he was at Ausberg for four years only made 57 appearances though and then just again like i said bounced around kind of interesting but his stats have grown a little. Acceleration, not so much. Pace by one. Finishing is nice in the green. Uh, jumping reach, he's a tall boy, apparently. But he's not going to be on the leadership roles. He's not going to be marking. Uh, positioning's not great. That hasn't grown. So sitting as a striker position, not too bad. Uh, regular starter for Rio Vallecano. Uh, probably not the top, you know, the Barcelonas, the Real Madrids. But for a mid-level team, yeah, I could definitely see him as a regular starter. But as you can see, Augsburg picked him up again for 2.6 million, played a couple of matches here and there, did, eh, okay, not too great. But then a loan to Brescia for 1.1 million, and then a final, made it final 2.5 million, didn't do all that well in Italy. Loan to Getafe, and then bought by Rio Vallecano, 5.75 million, uh, has probably picked it up a little bit in Spain, unfortunately, you know, kind of around his German mark, so... Just couldn't cut it in Italy all that much. But you can see they did get relegated from the Bundesliga to the Bundesliga 2 and then brought it right back up. So, I mean, yeah, Bundesliga 2, he's prime for. So maybe you can pick him up for a lower league team uh, and help them rise because it seems like he can do that. Uh, it's just these top level teams that he can play okay, not too bad. Definitely, you know, a squad rotation or something like that. Uh, and in some of these, I don't know where Raya Vallecano is, 15th. So kind of on the lower end of this to the table. Um, but yeah, doing okay for that, but probably not a top level team. Milestones, not too much. Relegation from the Bundesliga in 23. And then Bundesliga 2 champions promoted in 24. Uh, named in Augsburg's seasonal best 11s. Croatia under 21s. Uh, Brescia overall best 11s. Relegated from Serie A for Brescia, unfortunately. Transfer or uh, loan to Getafe. Bought by Rayo Vallecano. And then promoted from La Liga Smart Bank. So I guess La Liga 2. Second division top goal scorer runner up. But yeah, it looks like he is definitely a good lower league player. Maybe just not set out, you know, for the, the prime time, unfortunately. Injury wise is exactly what you want to see. Two moderates, one minor in 10 years. Everything else is slight. So just a couple of days. Um, tight groin, groin strain, cold, hamstring, pulled groin, tight hamstring. So... He looks pretty good on the injury-wise. Uh, definitely, again, lower leagues, take a look. Uh, scout him, see what they say. But he's not going to get you injuries, it does not look like. So that's pretty nice to see. So as you can see on his bio, the single winner's medal that he has won is, during his career is the Bundesliga 2, uh, as they were promoted. He's also earned recognition from the soccer community for his achievements. Euro Under-21 Championship Golden Boot runner-up and Spanish 2nd Division top goal scorer runner-up. So I think we've seen those, uh, but uh, still not too bad. Again, lower leagues, he looks fantastic for. Although he is well known for soccer fans across Europe, so at age 31. But we're going to take a look at when he retires now and see if he's grown at all, if he's moved around again. Uh, yeah, so let's check it out.
Well, it is the end of the 2037 season. He is 35 years old and is now at FK Astana in Kazakhstan. Uh, you can see, if we go to his career stats, he went from Raya Vallecano to Strasbourg and then on a free and then on a free again to FK Astana. Uh, what is interesting is long-term plans, it does not show that he wants to, he's going to retire, or he wants to retire, but if you move up a season, he is a general manager unemployed. So he obviously clearly retires in this year, but would prefer not to play for Raya Vallecano or Strasbourg. I do not know what happened there. I kind of wish I could go back and see what is actually going on, why he prefers not to play for these teams, but I don't know how to do that. So uh, his numbers still look fine. I mean, his physicals have definitely dropped dramatically. Uh, but yeah, he's definitely, it's time for him to retire after this season. Kazakhstan, though, very interesting. Uh, I guess he just ended it on a free, left Kazakhstan, and then no one was picking him up. Probably just retired from that point. But again, why is he having issues in Strasbourg and Vallecano? But uh, he has, I mean, he has a lot of teams. I'm just going back to this. He's a lot of teams under his belt. So he has played around, except in the Premier League is the only thing. Milestones, uh, just signed, named in seasonal best 11s. Nothing really. Promotion from La Liga we've already seen. So it really doesn't have anything new. Injury-wise, a couple of moderates. Uh, nothing, again, really new. Uh, three weeks, though. Four weeks, so, I mean, we've seen this one, but that three weeks is new, this nine days, his current injury. Uh, so, I mean, again, not very injury prone whatsoever. Uh, and looks like more times, more often than not, it's going to be slight and nothing to worry about than something a little bit more in depth. Oh, uh, you can see expires in six months. So, uh, apparently Kazakhstan goes the full calendar year. Um, I don't, I can't see that, unfortunately. But he will retire in 2037. So, but that is the life and times and career of Dion Drena Beljo. Uh, probably one that I would have liked to have seen better. Again, one to put on your scouting books, especially if you're in the lower leagues. Definitely one to take a look at and see. Uh, but beyond that, you know, that's that's what happens sometimes in these saves. They just it, instead of going that upward trajectory that you'd hoped, they just kind of either stall or fizzle out, and nothing really happens. But Again, lower leagues, not too bad, I will say. I mean, we're always looking for lower league players. So, But anyway, that is it for me, Sevian FM for the Football Manager Blog channel, saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.